everyone, this is John. I'm in LA. I'm back at Randy's Donuts. A little while ago, I came to photograph it one morning, and I really liked the photo, but there was two problems. Uh, one, it's a famous place, and there just wasn't any people, so I just felt like it was a little uh, uncharacteristic and a little desolate, but I still like the photo. But second of all, I did a panoramic photo, and as I was editing the video, I noticed I was doing something wrong. And, um, well, I'll show you. So when I was panning with the, for each photo, I was using a uh, tilt swivel head, uh, tri tripod head. And what was happening, the, the photo was just on three different axes uh, as I was rotating. So I've switched to a uh, Arca Swiss mount and I'm using a universal bracket to, uh, L bracket to hold the camera. Um, this universal bracket's not very universal with my camera, but it'll do for, the, for today. Um, I'm still looking at getting a better L bracket made for my camera. Um, anyway, I'm back at Randy's Donuts. It's now sunset because I paid attention to when this place is busier. Now it's much more crowded, but now there's another challenge. Um, one is just waiting for lights to come on, but two, there's cars here and it's kind of blocking the view and it's crowded so it has that feel. So I'm going to give it my best shot. Part of it's just waiting for the lights to turn on, so uh, let's wait. Mmm, forbidden donut. While I'm waiting for the light, I'll show you my L bracket. Um, the way I had the camera before was um, you know, I had the camera on landscape mode, but then rotated to be like so, and I would just do each frame and stitch it together in Lightroom. What, ha what was happening was it would just create each photo off a slightly different axis, so it created distortion that, um, as I was doing, looking at the photo in, po in Lightroom, I was just noticing the distortion and it, it was just bugging me. Um, I still liked the photo, but it was still bugging me. So now with this, I can have the photo or the camera like so. And as I rotate it, it stays on the same axis. I have to center things with, you know, with the level and everything, but for all intents and purposes, that's how you keep it centered. Much better for panoramics. As I wait for the lights to turn on, I'm just gonna get my composition set up. Um, one thing to note, so this is a universal mount by um, three-legged things. I got it because it was cheap and I thought maybe it'll work. Uh, for the most part it does work, but I have a flip screen. So what happens is it hits this uh, adjustment knob. So I turn into a knob, you knob. So I like to use a flip screen, so if I'm standing, you know, it's okay, but I have to... So my live view has a built-in uh, level indicator, so I can just line up the green lines. And it's usually pretty spot on. So I got my exposure set up. I'm just waiting for the lights to turn on. I'm gonna shoot at F9 at about half a second. So one other challenge uh, I'm noticing there's a lot of cars in the drive-thru and the tricky thing is they're at a standstill. I want to get show this place is bustling even though it's a long wait sitting in your car and it's a long wait standing in line. But it's still busy and vibrant so I want to have that feel. So it's another element and I'm still waiting for the lights. Now that I got the camera set up, the lighting's perfect. Um, I'm just gonna do a series of shots, starting like this. I've got a two second timer for each exposure. I'm gonna move, like so. Next shot. And one more. I'm loving the clouds. Very dramatic. One more.
And here's the first shot. So I'm noticing every few minutes each car moves. So I'm just waiting for the next um, movement of the cars and I'll show you the final photo as I pan with them. So here goes the first one. Next car. One more. And the final photo. Well, I think I'm gonna go get in line. So that's it for now. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Uh, feel free to subscribe. This is John, I'll see you next time, bye.